Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Let's Play Monster Hunter World. So I'm currently using a Parahammer setup. So you might notice I have all my equipment up here. It is the Diablo's Coil, Diablo's Mail, Jiro's Greaves B for, um, for an extra slot. Immobilization Charm level 2 for two more paralysis. Um... Bone Van Braces and the Eye Patch, which I got in the recent DLC where you have to kill some Jiros. It has a level 2 slot and a one level 1 slot for, um, accessor for amulet. No, no, not for amulets, for jewels. So, I don't have very many good jewels, but I do have, um, Affinity Sliding, which is, which I think, think is very much worth it. And I also have Geology, I think, in there right now. Need to find some better ones. But anyways, I have done most of the hunting necessary to unlock the next area of the game or the next quest and I accidentally talked to the person who tells me that I need to fight an Anjanath but also I've been doing some playing on my own I've been waiting to talk to this guy with you guys because the conversations with Meowscular Cat Chef are always awesome you interested in bulking up the canteen with more ingredients now that's what I'm talking about take care of the quest Chef's Quest pump to deliver and we'll get that menu jacked you won't be able to lift it. You want the gains, you want the glory, then deliver the goods. Don't let me down. Yeah, fantastic. Four forgotten fossils. I'm in. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so we are going to be fighting a high rank Anjanath. And I am not entirely certain how we will do because, um,. So far, I've been doing pretty well, especially with this specific armor set. Goodness. Oh, in the desert? Well, that's weird. I don't know where an Anjanath might start in the desert. I guess there. I've been doing pretty well with the hammer set, but I've also been doing a lot of bow in the meantime. And, um... With that, some high rank monsters that are already available through optional quests are eluding me. So, let's, let's get down to business to defeat the Hun. Why they send me daughters when I ask for sons? Sons? Only one son! But now I have all these fucking daughters! I would have dealt with one daughter. Like, I really have no gender preferences, but this is too many daughters! Look how many daughters I have. My son's a ghost. Now I'm just talking nonsense. Huh, the nature sounds are in the background even during the loading screen. I recently figured out, or found out, that the PS4 is made to accept to replace hard drives. And I that has gotten me thinking that maybe a solid state drive is in order to reduce those those times. Them times, them load times is what I'm trying to say right now, but I just couldn't get the word in my head. Oh Margaret, oh Margaret, don't you worry about me now. Okay, I do have my Mega Barrel Bombs, which are only really going to be useful for when it's sleeping, because I have no way of putting it to sleep. Ooh, a Grimlikin is offering to help. Not just the, we'll try to capture it, Grimlikin. Oh, Bareth, Bareth, Let's go fight me a Bareth. Oh, Bareth, but Prince. I guess it's no more ridiculous than the name Bareth. But, you know, you gotta get your fantasy pronunciations right. Mang? Mang man? Mung bean man? Mung bean man mang? Oh man, now I feel like I'm getting racist. Let's um, give that a stop right there and keep on going and enjoy myself. Because it's pretty cool to cause a cozy condition. I, I find what defines a slope to be so fucking arbitrary in this game. Like, why can't I slide down that hill that I just tried to slide down? And especially in the dunes area underground, that place bothered the hell out of me. Hey, there he is. I also figured out how to do a power charge, which changes up. Oh, what? How do you stop a front flipping hammer? Oh well, got the mount already. That's all right, I guess. It at least gives me an opportunity to do the super powerful combo directly on its face when it lies down. Um, one thing I've noticed about this hammer is it has a lot of um, a lot of sharpness, which actually made the Diablo set kind of redundant. The one that actually increases your damage as your sharpness goes down. 
So I got rid of the three set bonus there. But instead I have two levels of slugger, so that should do the trick. And this also has 20% um, affinity, which is nice to remember. Missed entirely because he got paralyzed. And I can't reach his face. Or at least I couldn't reach his face from there. Oh, well. Not quite as much damage as I would have liked to get done there. Oh man, I hit him with the entire combo. He might have gotten me a bit at the end there, but... Worth, worth, worth. Anyways, that combo was worth. It's so delicious and moist. Oh, okay, I thought he was actually going to bite there, but instead it was a tail swipe. This fight is not actually as bad as I imagined. His um, damage is not really that high. I still think that always sounds like a fart. There we go. Knocked unconscious. And paralyzed. Oh, the, the evil Grimlikins are actually helping me out here. Maybe not so evil after all. Maybe just misunderstood Grimlikins. go with the power charge here. So the power charge allows you at level 3 to do this if you're standing still, which is just a much faster Big Bang that that doesn't um, that doesn't hold you stationary for as long. Very much worth it. You gotta drink my potion. Wow, just hit. Did not even expect that. Also getting a bit better at aiming for the face with the hammer. I'm a bit out of practice with it in all honesty, and I'm glad that it's at least going as well as it is. Let's get um, the supercharge up and running. Okay, wait for him to attack. Whoa! Oh, that is not what I wanted to do at all. I missed all the things I wanted to do because of that power slide. Power slide, feel the... Oh. Wow. I never expect the, se the, S the Spanish Inquisition. The second attack there. When he does that, Finity sliding has worn off. Keep in mind that when I slide down a hill, I actually temporarily get 50% affinity. Which is just a ridiculous amount of affinity. Although it seems to take a little while to activate, because it didn't activate on that first um, big front flippy move that I just did. Get back here! Okay, I'll waste the charge. I realize I could have gotten like a thousand Anjanath footprints there. Slide down the hill! I'm not going to be able to slide anywhere near enough time. But I should be able to get a big kind of like whammy hit off on him. There we go, and a second mount, which I like again for several reasons, but mostly because, oh, look at my stamina, that is bad. <laughs> so I have to do this mount perfectly, apparently. Oh, why, he threw me? But I had moved. What took up that stamina? Complete miss. I'm not sure if this was true last time, but um, Murdoch is also now playing instruments, doing like a Palico Orchestra type of thing, which allows him to give me buffs, which is exactly what I want, what I really, really want. If you want to be my Palico, you better be able to play some songs. Something about bongs, I guess, is where I go from there. Forgot to actually do like the heavy charge there. Nice big hit to the face there. And again, and he's paralyzed, and I have a nice little platform to stand on in order to hit his face over and over again. 
awesome. Hard to believe he hasn't gotten a stun yet. Oh wait, yeah, he got one early on. Uh, I was behind your foot when that hit me. So I'm thinking like maybe that was complete BS. Here we go, let's get a mega potion here. I thought I could run up that wall because of the logs or because of like the wood vines or the, I guess they're just vines. They're just very old vines that have gained a wood-like texture. Still have about half my bar of sharpness. So I don't really need to do that. My Palco has very nicely actually increased or decreased my stamina depletion, which I also appreciate. And I have myself a mining oak crop. I think somewhere around here there is actually a rare mining oak crop, like one of these red ones. Yeah, like right here. For instance, just you know, just as an example of where it might be. So let's grab those. Is it a Nova Crystal? I felt special the first time I got one of those. After that, not so much. There's no word for me to slide. Can you like turn around and face me? Well, it was close enough to turning around and facing me. I have stamina all day. Okay, maybe not that much stamina, man. Get back over here. I cannot fight when there are multiple monsters in the area. Keep on focusing on the bear off here. Oh, got him in the face after all that with the big hit. Just missed getting wrecked by that. There we go. Nice big hit, knocking it over. Unfortunately, I'm at least getting his claws here. Oh, knocked out. I'd actually, oh, and paralyzed. And this is why I love this set. Full paralyzed and two out of three slugger levels ain't bad. Actually, it's so good that I'm starting to think he, oh yeah, I was about to say I'm gonna capture him. But I think a shock trap will actually function better. Fucked it up. Waste of a shock trap. I thought it was a tiny bit further ahead there. Come on, Anjanath. You gotta stop sometime. Where does it even nest in this area? There's no real Anjanath nesting place. I don't want to place another trap unless I really know where it's going. I'm an idiot. Halfway through that sentence, I was like, well, it's clearly heading down this path. I'm going to place the trap. I guess I'm just going to kill it. Wait, it's fighting down there? So I probably could have led it up to that trap. Oh my god. Well... Sorry, Anjanath, I have sealed your fate. You have to die. This little Ange of mine, I'm gonna let it die, oh yeah. This little Ange of mine. I almost died right there, actually, so... Maybe I should be a tiny bit less cocky. Couldn't you have used a tremor instead? I just got tremor resistance. Ooh, free honey. Always my most favoritist. And again, another rare mining oak crop. Might as well always be stopping at these. I don't know what the spirit core ore is for. I don't think I've used any of it yet. Although, maybe I'm wrong. Cats are being a bit noisy. Sorry about that. Anja, you find somewhere to sleep so I can barrel bomb you with some mega barrel bombs? Oh yeah, there we go. 
So, detonating a mega barrel bomb with a hammer? Probably not advisable, but if you can do it just right, incredibly satisfying. So, what I'm gonna do... So the upswing should not hit him. There we go! <laughs> About 600 damage there, nothing, nothing to sneeze at at the very least. Big hit there. Come on. And again, not knocked over. Man, they have some stun resistance in these games. I'm just monsters in general I'm talking about here. I kind of wish I wasn't sending him reeling as often, or he wasn't as exhausted. It's actually kind of being annoying. There we go, enraged again, so at least my wish is granted. Now I'm probably going to complain about him being enraged if I'm being very, very... Oh no! Very, very... I fainted! Damn, that sucks! was doing so well too. Well at least this gives me the opportunity to capture him again because I am done with this fight. I hate how the scope flies immediately take control of your camera when you start. Item box, manage items, loadout number one. Oh I'm running out of uh, mega barrel bombs. Hope I have lots of mushrooms left. Demon blight mushrooms or something? I, for I forget exactly what they're called. But hopefully I have plenty left or else I'm gonna have to farm for some when I'm done here. And by farm for some, I mean literally farm for some. Use the duplication tree or whatever you want to call it, the ancient tree. You know, maybe just call it by its actual name. I'll, that will very likely not confuse people as much. Ancient tree. Kill this Angie. There we go, shock trap. Now, I'm not saying that it was luck that I didn't place those traps properly. But given my luck, I would not be surprised if I somehow failed this. So let's put it right in there. I actually got jammed in that spot. And quest complete. Oh yeah, I had turned down the voice volume. I should probably turn that back up. No so, options. I was getting real sick of her. Oh no, the voice volume's still up. It's just quieter. I was getting real sick of her telling me that I had to go fight this Anjanath every time I wanted to every time I wanted to go back to town. So I may have turned down my handler a little bit. What have you got for us? Oh, all kinds of good stuff. I'll take it. Doesn't look like it got anything particularly rare, but in all honesty, I do not know the rarity of all the items. Any good charms? Come on, gems? Jewels? Crisis? Resuscitate. And for Really? I got Resuscitate and Fortify? Fortitude. You know, Fortify, yeah. Those are both skills that activate when you die. I'm gonna keep them just out of sheer novelty there. The canteen has been upgraded! Oh, I gotta go see this. I gotta see, I gotta find out, I gotta see about this upgrade canteen. That was a hard note for me to hit, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, you know what I should really do? Post more videos and record less. I'm just like, I haven't posted a video for a day or so. I'll probably get that done. I have like four Stay videos in my backlog. Peace, then. You're back. Glad to see you're safe. I just wanted to say, wonderful job with the Anjanath. Everyone here is thrilled. Thank you. We just need to decipher this mysterious new information we've come, you come across. And don't worry, we will. You'll be the first to know the results. In the meantime, keep collecting as much evidence as you can. Our research depends on it. So what is it? Is it that I've already gotten all the evidence that you need? Ooh. What have you got for me, melding lady? Oh, so much done. Okay, first of all, let's hand in the bounty here. 
There's so much to do, so much to see, so what's wrong with taking the back streets? Um, flora, register bounties. What do I have right now? Hmm, a bunch of stuff that I don't really care for. I really, really like small monster culling because I just do it automatically and easily. So I'm going to take two of those. There we go. Next, do you have something to tell me? Oh, you've upgraded this too. What do you got to say to me? What exactly is the difference? Do you just have more items for me? Or can can you can you say a thing or maybe I don't know. If don't mind. The other day, my melding research reached a new plateau. Do you have any decorations you're not using? Just say the word, and I'll use this pot to mix them into new decorations for you. Sweet. Well, so what can I meld for you? Meld decorations. I should have been keeping all my shitty ones. Blaze and... Oh. Is this what I can make? Oh yeah. This is what I can make, not wood. Hmm. I'm not really interested in either of any of these, really. That's all right, though. Maybe she'll have more in time that I will be more interested in. Either way, let us go up and see the canteen. See, see the canteen. Speak to the chief ecologist. Yeah, objective again. What do you got for me, man? I've been mean to spot. You hunters since you'll be going. Wait, I've been meaning to spot you hunters since you'll be going up against those new those new monster monsters. The old canteen was starting to look kind of canteen-y, and in my house we don't plateau. We make games. <laughs> so I did a little flexing, and now the canteen is built up with all kinds of new meals. Spirit. These spirits are paw pawfully, st pawfully strong. So meow... Duration is key. Drink too much and you'll be one unlucky cat. Okay, so he's gotten us drinks. Oh, and we get a little cutscene. He beefed it up with fruits and vegetables. Well done, dude. Well, fruits at least. I don't see many vegetables there. More hanging meat. Hanging meat, hanging meat, hanging meat on the ground. Oh man, it's a bad song. Okay, what have I got? So now the chef's choice plan. Oh, look at all the ingredients we can use. It's so good. And we can get really high activation chance. Defense up large. Defense up large and defender high as a skill. I don't even know what my mission is, but I want it. Oh, I should have watched the animation there. Sorry guys, I will do that next time. That's a beefy canteen you got there, chef. Okay, let's go back to the trade yard because I have to speak to the head ecologist, chief ecologist. Yeah, they, halfway through the investigation, they expected me to um, speak to the or to fight that guy, but I got all the way through. So let's see what he has to say. Impeccable timing, dear hunter. We've made progress with that mystery monster. We've determined the monster is currently lurking in the Coral Highlands. It won't be long before the commander gives you the official order. Good luck out there in the field, and don't get hurt. So what is it? Special investigations. Hardened monster, that's what that is. Speak to the commander. Okay, just busy work all day today, huh? Boom, 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 boom. Over here. Ah, just who I was looking for. Member of, members of the ecological research team have pinpointed whatever it is that made those strange tracks. In the, it's in the Coral Highlands. Once you're ready to sign up for the quest, I need our hunters to ascertain what we're up against. <laughs> is it something bad or something worse? Whatever it is, we're going to have to face it eventually. That's what we do here, after all. Okay. Sign up for the quest, partner. It's time to hunt the monster Old world monster country. in a new world. Okay, that's going to be an exciting time. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.